Where does speaker glare come from? Put my sunglasses on here. This question comes from Richard in Anchorage, Alaska. Ah, I'd like to visit Alaska someday. Although I'll tell you what terrifies me about Alaska. I, I hear tales that there's some bugs the, si <laughs> the size of my foot down there. And I'm not a big bug guy. I don't like flying insects and things biting on me and all that. But it, boy, it sure looks like a beautiful place. I definitely wouldn't go there in the winter. So if I come there in the summer, I just want to make sure there ain't going to be no bugs. I don't like bugs. I don't like things biting on me. All right, so Richard has a set of European-based manufacturer speakers that produce glare, and he describes as glassy sound. And these are at moderate, moderate volume in, very lively, uh, in a very lively upstairs room. About a year ago, he upgraded everything, which includes speakers from another European manufacturer, which are very bright, but don't produce glare. The previous system was moved downstairs, which is heavily damped. The glare is still present. I switched amps and wire and CD player with no significant change in sound. What known aspects produce glare? Most of the equipment have received uh, favorable reviews from UK and Northern publications. Well, first off, <laughs> reviewers are great. I love reviewers and I don't want to make fun of them, but every reviewer, um, it, it, it's just like food. I, I can't tell you the number of times I have been traveling or Terry and I have been out somewhere and we'll look and say, oh, wow, the, the reviews on this restaurant are great and we'll head to this restaurant and it's horrible. It's awful. But everybody else around is enjoying it. Well, what we finally discovered, of course, is that our tastes are so different than your tastes, right? I mean. Well, first off, I'm a vegetarian. Terry's a vegetarian. I'm actually a vegan, so I don't even eat dairy. And so, you know, my palate goes into fresh stuff and uh, finely cooked things and blah, blah, blah. So if I, see a, if I see a review for the Outback Steakhouse that somebody else adores and loves, well, guess how I'm going to respond? You know, maybe I could find two things there I could even eat, and it's probably not going to be to my palate. In the same way, when you read a review, that reviewer is listening to his favorite kind of music. That reviewer has a specific kind of room, cables, and, and all of that that go into it. And he has a certain view that, in his opinion, this sounds like music. That may not agree with yours. So reviewers are very hard. My son Lon once came up with what I thought was a great idea. You, you, you know, the, the, the apps like Yelp and things like that, right? It just, you just type in there. There's no qualification whatsoever. If I, if I am a person that loves McDonald's and I go to a, you know, a five-star restaurant and say, this place is overpriced and sucks, I don't know who that person is, you, you have, it's silly for you to put that review down because you don't get it. And the same thing for me, if I'm some kind of, you know, eating snob and I walk into McDonald's and say, this is crap, um, I have no right to do that because why would you listen to me? I'm not, you know, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff and he's not a fan of this kind of stuff. So, Lon's idea, which I think is great, is to find people like us. So, you know, if you, if you could just segregate those people out, like everybody, like every vegetarian on the planet, you know, if they like a restaurant, my chances of liking it are a lot better. You, you get the idea. But anyway, here we, we digress. Okay, glare. Well, glare is usually something that comes more from the mid-range than the tweeter. Now, not every system has a mid-range, but the area of frequency where the mid-range, you know, however it's generated, if you have a two-way system, then the, some of the mid-range is coming from the woofer and some of it's coming from the bottom of the tweeter. And that's usually where we have glare. When we have brightness, that brightness is typically from the tweeter, from the upper part. So in the one case, he's got 
a bright speaker, but it doesn't have that glare. And then he's got another speaker that isn't quite so bright, but it's got huge amounts of glare. And that's usually in the lower regions, lower than the tweeter, higher than the woofer, and that mid-range area. And I've heard some mid-rangey speakers that just squawk and just like, ah! Just, yeah, it, awful, just glare, nasty, nasty glare. You can reduce some of it with electronics and cables, but man, um, a speaker that has glare, there's really nothing you're going to be able to do in a room or with your electronics or cables to eliminate that. You just need to eliminate that speaker. Sorry to say. And that's the thing about speakers. You know, there are lots of speakers around probably far more speakers than there are electronics and far more chances of screwing them up because a speaker is a very imperfect device relative to an amplification device. Now, there's tons of differences between amplifiers. You know, my amplifier sounds better than your amplifier. Well, yeah, that may be, but my amplifier probably measures pretty darn close to your amplifier. That speaker, not even remotely close. It'll be dB different. We're here, eh, tenths of a dB, some phase angle differences and stuff. And yeah, we hear huge differences in sound quality in electronics, but that's for a whole bunch of other different reasons that we can talk about later. But speakers, speakers are gross. Speakers have huge margins of error. And it's like the designer's palette just think of it as a, a painting palette. And there are good artists and there are bad artists and we all have the same palette to work with, right? So some speakers just have glare and that is in that region. Um, so if you didn't want to sell the speakers or move them on, if it's a three-way, you could consider trying to replace the mid-range. But I, I don't know what kind of speakers they are, so I, I really can't tell you. But good luck with that. Hope that gives you a little bit of insight as to what's going on. Okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.